in Naivasha affected by construction of high voltage power lines are calling on the Kenya Electricity Transmission Company, Ketraco, to disburse their compensation packs. Here now are the details of this and other with Betty Kiptum. Last month, the Olkaria Lesos Kisumu, Kiambere Embakasi and Loyangalani Suswa high voltage power lines were vandalized, plunging parts of the country in darkness. The Naivasha Subcounty Security Committee met various government agencies to deliberate on the recent cases of vandalism that had targeted various infrastructure. The meeting noted that there had been no vandalism cases reported since the ban on scrap metal trade. So the concern is huge, but we have sat down. We also want to thank the president because of the ban. Uh, the cases have gone down of vandalism. In the last couple of months, 32 transformers in Naivasha have been vandalized. The officials resolved that engaging members of the public on protecting the critical power towers and lines is key to stopping the vice. We have come with ways of mitigating that. One of them is doing barazas, engaging the Wanainji, then uh, enforcing the presidential ban, uh, and again having a special unit of doing surveillance along the lines. Over 150 families affected by construction of the high voltage Olkaria Lesos Kisumu power line are calling on Ketrako to compensate them five years after their land was acquired for the project. Naomba, Nani mesajenga, nani kuna mugonjwa. Sasa hata nikilipo hiyo elfu miyasaba, itafanya nini. Na hapa plotsi, ni milioni moja, na, ni milioni moja, na elfu miyambi. Betty Kiptum, Lunchtime News.